university mpt entrance exam paper so question number one a muscle that flexes both hip and knee joints is option a adductor magnus b biceps femoris c rectus femoris option d sartorius and the correct answer is option d sartorius question number two what is the most appropriate ultrasound dosage for piriformis muscle spasm which is compressing the sciatic nerve and producing pain in the posterior hip region that has been worsening over last three months option a 1 megahertz continues at 1 watt per centimeter square option b 1 megahertz pulse at 1 watt per centimeter square c 3 megahertz continuous at 1 watt per centimeter square option d 3 megahertz pulse at 1 watt per centimeter square and the correct answer is option a 1 megahertz continuous at 1 watt per centimeter square question number three walking from a well lit room into a dark room would cause the following to occur option a the sclera in the eye opens and eventually allows one to see in the dark b the extraocular muscle in the eye open and eventually allow one to see in the dark C. The cons in the eye open and eventually allow one to see in the dark. Option D. The rods in the eye open and eventually allow one to see in the dark. And the correct answer is option D. The rods in the eye open and eventually allow one to see in the dark. Question number 4. Which of the following concerning average lung volumes and capacities of a person at rest is true? Option A, total lung capacity, then vital capacity, tidal volume, functional residual capacity. Option B, total lung capacity, then functional residual capacity, then vital capacity, then tidal volume. C, total lung capacity, vital capacity, then functional residual capacity, and then tidal volume. D, total lung capacity, functional residual capacity, tidal volume, and then vital capacity. And the correct answer is option C, total lung capacity, then vital capacity, then functional residual capacity and tidal volume. Question number 5, grade 4 of the oscillatory technique of mobilization is A, small amplitude rhythmic oscillations perform up to the limit of available motion, B, small amplitude rhythmic oscillations performed at the limit of the available motion option c large amplitude rhythmic oscillations performed up to the limit of available motion and d small amplitude high velocity thrust performed at the limit of the available motion and the correct answer is option b small amplitude rhythmic oscillation performed at the limit of available motion question number six following are all the features of cerebellar lesion except Option A, dysdiadocokinesia, B, nystagmus, Option C, rigidity of voluntary muscle, D, intentional tremor. And the correct answer is Option C, rigidity of voluntary muscles. Question number 7, a patient with a 10 year history of diabetes complaining of cramping pain in footing of the right buttock after walking 400 feet or climbing stairs. When the patient stops exercising, the pain goes away immediately. The skin of the involved leg is cool and pale. The therapist suspect Option A. Spinal root impingement B. Peripheral nerve injury C. Peripheral arterial disease D. Reynolds disease And the correct answer is Option C. Peripheral arterial disease Question number 8. Lining epithelium of lung alveolus is A. Simple columnar Option B, simple cuboidal. C, simple squamous. Option D, pseudostratified ciliated columnar. And the correct answer is option C, simple squamous. Question number 9, fibromyalgia syndrome is a A, musculoskeletal disorder. Option B, psychosomatic disorder. Option C, neurosomatic disorder. D, non-inflammatory rheumatoid disorder. And the correct answer is option A, musculoskeletal disorder. Question number 10, rotatory or angular motion is best described as 
ऑप्शन ए मूवमेंट ऑफ एन ऑब्जेक्ट और सेगमेंट अराउंड अ फिक्स एक्सिस इन अ कर्व पाथ बी इच पॉइंट ऑन द ऑब्जेक्ट और अ सेगमेंट मूव्स थ्रू द सेम एंगल इन द सेम टाइम सी द सेम पॉइंट ऑन द ऑब्जेक्ट और सेगमेंट मूव्स एट अ कॉन्स्टेंट डिस्टेंस फ्रॉम द एक्सिस एंड ऑप्शन डी ऑल ऑफ द अबो द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन डी ऑल ऑफ द अबो